Fine. Fine. Like what your PIN number is on your debit card? Mm, not that. <laughs> not Go ahead and say that. I'm recording. <laughs> 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 All right. Whenever you're ready. You do ready? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, greetings and welcome uh, to Seclair. This is our holiday edition of our uh, weekly educational grand rounds. And unlike uh, previous episodes in the past, uh, today we are recording this particular episode as we wish to have it uh, put out in more of a, a high definition. So unfortunately, there won't be any questions that can be asked during uh, this broadcast. However, uh, at the end, we'll gladly show you how to contact Seclair with any questions that you have. And as usual, uh, my name is Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist here at Seclair. And today I'm joined by two of my uh, colleagues. And on my right would be... Oh, I'm Danielle Chandler. I'm the assistant office manager. And on my left would be... I'm Melissa Vertasek, certified holistic health coach. So could you tell us a little bit about what your role is, is here at Seclair, Melissa? Sure. I see uh, patients for nutritional counseling, uh, helping them to improve their diets, as well as as a lifestyle coach. I've been working with patients on helping them to change their lifestyle to reach their goals. So what, and, and I believe everyone out there now may have uh, caught on by now, here it's clear that we don't look at a person as anxiety or depression or some type of quote disorder however what we like to do is look at that person as a whole on a holistic level on mind body and spirit and what type of uh, enhancements can we offer to an individual's life what type of choices can they make either by uh, subtraction addition or uh, remaining some of the things exactly the same as they work uh, what can work in their life and as today as we are into the uh, the holiday season uh, one of the things that we often hear so much is how many times Melissa have you said do you heard people say I eat too much <laughs> yes definitely at this time of year and a lot of the time it's not so much I ate too much like broccoli, it's I ate too many sweets, cookies, things like that. <laughs> so how often, how often have you said I ate too much broccoli, Danielle? Um, I don't think I've ever said <laughs> I ate too much broccoli. So. Well, the idea is that if, you, if a company has to spend millions, tens, hundreds of millions of dollars to convince you on how to, to convince you to buy a product, mm -hmm. our thoughts are that it's not worth buying. So... Here at Seclair, what we like try to put across is the power of simplicity. And today, Melissa, you've uh, created some dishes for the folks out there. Perhaps oh, I'm, I plan on sampling them, absolutely. <laughs> so perhaps that won't leave you with that bloated feeling. Perhaps it won't wake you up in the middle of the night. Perhaps that won't have you wishing, I wouldn't have, I wish I wouldn't have eaten that. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, a lot of times people have, there's a couple times of day that, our struggles. One is usually like the mid-afternoon slump. Others is in the evenings um, when they're home from work or at a party, um, which is the holiday season. So a lot of people are going to dinners and events. Uh, and so these are dishes that you can take with you either to work or to a party that people would enjoy um, that are very simple. So to start with, we have, I'm not sure if we can you have to slide over, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have two di two things. One is sweet, slightly sweet, and one is spicy. And not as in the sense of like you're going to burn your mouth out spicy. Um, but we have roasted pecans that just have a little bit of olive oil and cinnamon on them. And I you know roast them. I roasted these to get in together in the same oven today. So at 400, the pecans take like five six minutes, something like that. You don't want to go too far, otherwise you start to burn them. Um, and then roasted chickpeas, which you put in the oven for at 400 for about 30 to 40 minutes. And I roasted those dry and then added the spice after. Um, and again, I just used a little bit of olive oil and mixed uh, gram masala powder with the olive oil and then mixed the chickpeas in after I pulled them out of the oven. Um, garam masala is a spice mix that you can find at the grocery store. It's usually a combination of cardamom, cloves, cumin, cinnamon, um, and black pepper. So like I said, it does kind of have a little bit of a spice to it compared to the roasted pecans. So again, both of these are very easy to make, um, easy to take with you, very portable. Uh, and most people will enjoy them and you can play around with the spices as to 
what your preference is. Uh, but they also have the benefit of providing you with some fiber and some protein to go with it. Because a lot of times, like I mentioned, we have a lot of sweets. And so <laughs> this can help to balance that. Well, Danielle, I'm sure that uh, you've been invited to uh, some gatherings, uh, holiday gatherings, or even yes. gatherings during the year. And I'm sure that one of the questions you've asked is, what can I bring? Yes. Every year. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what do we normally do when, when we go out to, to take something to a, to a gathering? We usually bring a dessert. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, a sweet of right. some sort. Mm -hmm. Right. Have you ever been to one of these, uh, uh, maybe a, a fancy gourmet shop or a, uh, a grocery store, and some of the things that uh, they prepare, they're very expensive. Yes. They're yes. very expensive. So tell us some of the tell us the difference between the preparation of these and what some of the things that I'm sure that you've seen that are offered for sale in stores. Well, um, the main thing is that there's basically just three ingredients, and you should probably have them all in your cupboard at home right now, or can very easily get them. Um, it's in the very minimal prep time. Like I said, you just kind of preheat the oven, put them on a cookie sheet, put them in the oven for, you know, 10 minutes for the pecans and 30 to 40 for the um, chickpeas and you're done. So you, you know, it's very quick, easy, something that, you know, as we're very time strapped that this can be a way to do that um, rather than having, going and picking something up that may have 10 to 15 ingredients. Some of them you may not know what they are. Um, you know, it's just as convenient. And is there any sugar in these? No. There's no sugar in no these. No sugar. Uh, tell me, have you ever, have you ever been around uh, little ones who have eaten too much sugar, Danielle? <laughs> <laughs> yes, plenty of times. And how, what can you, what can you tell us how that ends up? Um, usually in a sugar crash. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the best crashes. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea here is that there is no processed type of uh, material right. in this. Mm -hmm. Could you tell? Could you share with uh, our folks out there who may be viewing uh, this? Well, tell me, tell what processed food does to a person's body. Well, it does a few things. One is it does not provide any nutritional value to your body. Um, and things like refined sugar can um, actually deplete your nutrients from your body as well while you're trying to digest it. So it kind of gives you a double, double whammy uh, with that. And also you're not really sure what kind of chemicals are being used and their effects on our body. I mean, a lot of studies have been done about different chemicals and how they affect our metabolism uh, and which is something that's key right now because a lot of people come January 1st, their resolution is to lose the weight that they've put on during the holidays. <laughs> um, and so this, you know, having a lot of chemicals can, you know, affect your metabolism and then affect your success with your goals. So what you're telling us is to be more proactive rather than reactive. Let's work on keeping the weight off rather mm -hmm. than work on getting the weight off. Right, exactly, <laughs> yes. Okay. And it doesn't mean you can't enjoy um, you know, something sweet during the holidays. It's just being mindful of what you're eating and making that choice of what is worth it to you, um, which dessert, which sweet is the one that you want to indulge in. And could you tell us about your choice of pecans and chickpeas today? Well, my choice is because I said they both have some protein and they both have fiber. Um, the pe and pecans have some fats to them. And what the proteins and fats do and fiber, they all balance your blood sugar by like, making it go more slowly into your bloodstream so your body can handle it. You're not going to get that sugar crash. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, so you'll have energy throughout the day, that, you know, in a more refined fashion. Um, and what would uh, what would a, what would a servings like we're showing here? What would could it cost an individual to make? Um, like I said, most like the olive oil and the spices you may have in your roof, your cupboard already, but the chickpeas they're like a dollar a can. You know, they're not expensive at all. Um, and then the pecans vary based on you know where you're purchasing them at, but they may be like five dollars a pound. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you know little children that happen to would happen to like to eat at uh, places that serve a lot of processed food, like McDonald's and Burger King and, and those type of places? Would you happen to know a little girl like that? I do. You do. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> does, does this does this little person enjoy that type of food? She does. Um, 
but it's also my job as a parent to let her know that you know that these foods are not good for her and you know so that's you know what we work on is you know trying to get her away from that and also a lot of the problem is that sometimes it's just a convenience you know mm -hmm. like hey let's stop and you know grab a happy meal or and and why why are these type of food items so attractive to particularly younger people why why do the, let's say why do they taste so good <laughs> Oh, they taste so good, mainly because um, the companies have put in a lot of time and research to discover what our taste buds want and um, how to manipulate that to make us want more. Um, there are certain, you know, products where, like, when you eat one, you just want to keep yes. eating them, <laughs> and they're designed kind of that that way. They play on our taste buds for like the fats and the sugars that are satis you know that satisfy you but some things that are generally not in nature as frequently so those are things that were like oh these are treats these are things that you know we don't get very often but in reality you can get them very frequently so i have a challenge for you danielle yes. when you go next time you go grocery shopping i would like you to examine the labels on every piece of on every <laughs> food that you buy and I'd like you to determine how many of the ingredients that you actually can pronounce or <laughs> know what know what they are. So are the are the ingredients in these this particular dish pronounceable? Oh yes. Yes. If people understand what they are? <laughs> yes, I would say so. <laughs> okay. Okay, great. Uh, did you see have you seen a uh, billboard for broccoli on your way here this morning? Danielle. Um, I can't say I have. Did you see a uh, did you see a billboard for chickpeas? No. <laughs> no, I, I no, we did not. So the idea is that there is the power of simplicity uh, cannot be overstated. Uh, we are experts at complicating our lives. Uh, how often during the, these particular type of seasons do we try to live up to the unreasonable expectations of others and perhaps the unreasonable expectations of ourselves? Mm -hmm. And Melissa has just uh, showed us a wonderful dish here. That how long did it take you to prepare these? Like I said, um, the chickpeas roast for about 30 to 40 minutes, but I'm not actually like doing anything to with them at that time. So I would say maximum five minutes to toss the ingredients together. Five minutes. Max, yeah. Okay. And could you, could you share with uh, our audience how they could get in contact with you? Sure. I mean, they could definitely contact me through Seclair's website. Um, I, I'm in the staff listing as well as through the whole life approach .com. Wonderful, wonderful. And I'm assuming that this recipe is going to be available to be uh, <laughs> posted online. And my hope is that you may explore uh, the Seclair website. And we'll ask uh, Miss Danielle to take us out. Oh. <laughs> 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 to continue the conversation, please like us on Facebook, Google Plus, us on Google, or follow us on Twitter under Seclair Life. And keep an eye out for any of these for the next live recording Mondays at noon um, to ask your own questions. And as always, we leave you with a free prescription. We leave you with fruits, nuts, and vegetables. Perhaps unplug your television and take out fishing. And as everyone knows out there, for a truly mindful experience, you can contact my friend Sven. He can show you how to fish without bait. Uh, and your assignment for uh, the rest of this holiday season is to be good to yourself, please. Thank you so much for joining us today.